was walking around the neighborhood with my mom. She turned to me and said, Mike, don't you want to meet someone? I said, no, I want to meet everyone. Cause I won't waste another day. I'm so busy, um, I forgot to film, but I thought it would be a good idea to grab the camera just to show the state of this place. Um, I'm just trying to get some order to um, where everything's going to live and go because I can't find anything because I don't know where, it, uh, nothing has a home. So here I've decided to make this my sort of parts department of various part, just you know, for engines, cell stuff, plumbing, electrics, all that kind of thing. There's a little lithium battery there that we're going to use for a couple of things. And this is all the stuff that was over there um, that's got to come over here and more garbage. Just still quite messy, even worse down, well, sort of worse. We're making some space there, we're gonna pull all that out and make some more space. Put those down, um, the water tanks under the floor. The galley's not bad because we've had a bit of a sort out, so we've got like plenty of food, cleaning stuff. It still needs so much cleaning and some painting. TV still works great with Ariel. It's gone quite windy at the moment. We did take out yesterday the uh, the Walker Bay um, with the um, Honda 2.3e horsepower engine. Unfortunately, what happened is that it turns out that the the mount for the 2.3, that one there, that one there, the Honda, doesn't actually fit the transom, he says, trying to find a finger, there, the transom of the Walker Bay. The transom's uh, too, too fat. Um, and I've scratched the kabuggery out of it, but never mind. Um, it works beautifully well, but it's seriously underpowered as well for that Walker Bay. I was hoping it would be a little bit more powerful. When everybody said, yeah, it's real powerful, it's not. But my friend down um, past that boat there, onto that one, he says, sort out the focus. Oops, sorry about that. Sort out the focus this way. There we go. Down there uh, on CJ, the guy that's buying my dinghy that's out there that one there he wants to buy the engine to go with it as well because it fits um, so I think we might do okay by selling him the engine for about three to four hundred quid um, probably about three hundred quid they are it's worth between three fifty four hundred and I would like three fifty for it because I can get a five horsepower um, Honda for about 400 quid second hand because they're about a grand so that's what we're going to be looking to do so a bit windy at the moment so we're just sorting out stuff so this is there's the windlass there uh, and some stuff that's going on the walker bay i've done some work on the uh on the davits put some new roping on and um, some other bits and bobs sorted out some stuff so we're getting loads of jobs done there's uh Mr. Miyagi down there in his little spot. He's quite happy. As you can see, it's still <laughs> a bit of a mess. We get, I'm just putting stuff in places and it's feeling, Captain, a bit better. We've still got a slight issue with that. Sorry about the flashing, there's a, a fluorescent light down there. I'm just taking these out now because I'm gonna put the, uh, the, the wind system in here and the cover here to get rid of these. I think they were just the inspection plates. 
So this is going to be great fun when this is done because we're going to keep these, the, uh, the, the engine oil pressures and probably move them up. Take these voltmeters out because we're going to have digital ones down inside, maybe even one here. And we're going to have an hour meter here and a fuel gauge here for the diesel tank. I'm going to leave the compass where he is. This is all going to be modernized. Uh, so are these. These are going to be modernized. These are going to be uh, repaired and modernized. Depth sounders. Uh, the iPad. That's going to be quite good when it's done. The, auto, the autopilot, all the cabling is going to go through here. Uh, you won't see any cabling at all. And this box unit we're going to cut down uh, to make it easier to actually go inside and stand and maybe a handle up here for uh, for lifting up but so a ton of stuff to do a ton on the nav deck I've tested the radar that's quite good it works fine so we can get rid of the box it's up on the roof at the moment so just more sorting out and more placing stuff where it's supposed to go and the tide's coming in I do love it when the water comes in and the boat floats. We slept absolutely fine last night again. Uh, best night's sleep actually. It's really warm and uh, Sea Leg sleeps with me nice and close so I don't have to worry about him and he's got his cat litter box in the utility room and all his food down there all out the way. I don't know if you can see that. There we are sort of thing. If I zoom in just a little bit, oh no it's not going to work. There you can see it. So, very homely. Uh, this is getting a bit better. The workbench, which has got to be sorted out, and uh, the office -y type thing. I've put all the books there, but maybe I'll move the books onto the shelves now to, to keep some more space. Because it seems a waste, waste, yeah, it is, it's a waste of space. That should be a complete bench. I'm thinking, okay, so loads to do. Be all because what the major plan was is to get all the tools I forgot my coffee all the tools in these drawers and we are sort of managing it this is going to be like a full tool bank because you need all your tools and I don't want to bury them I want them accessible but we've still got a printer to go in there and um, the scanners there and some other stuff so lots of work to do <laughs> 